this video is going to be um, me talking about Dragon for Life's video. And I'm not more so going to talk about the Goku versus Batman thing, but more so just talk about fighting in general. Now, for the record, I am not a fighting expert. I'm not a fighting expert. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know some things about fighting, but far from an expert. Um, I do practice martial arts, but I'm not a great martial artist. I wouldn't even call myself a martial artist. I, you know, it's just, I just practice some shit, you know, because it's kind of cool to practice, you know, some self-defense techniques, stuff like that. But um, uh, I want to talk about some things that Dragon Ball for Life has said, because I had heard some of these things in the past and it was kind of hard to believe, but now I can kind of understand it. So you have movie fighting. And then you have real life fighting. So we, we we all seen those old Kung Fu movies, Jackie Chan and, you know, Jet Li, you know, stuff like that. Now, I, I, I don't know if these guys can fight in real life. I'm not for certain. Even Bruce Lee. I don't even know if the I don't know if these guys can fight in real life. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that, that they can beat like the average, the average Joe's ass. I'm pretty sure Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Jackie Chan can beat up an average Joe. Like if they was in a bar fight and some, and some drunk ass dude, hey, dude I'm going to kick your ass. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they can beat their ass. Well, I don't know how well they would do in a professional fight, but I'm just going to talk about movie versus real life. Now in movies, we all see that shit. Niggas jumping high as fuck. Doing all those crazy ass martial art moves, all those crazy ass stances. Like for example, like the fucking snake and shit. Like the Shang Tsung, shit. like niggas be like, all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it looks dope as fuck. It looks dope as fuck. But let me tell you now, Dragon Ball for Life, and I even heard Dragon Ball for Life. I heard Michael Jai White, and I heard this other dude who's in the MMA or something like that, he said that that shit does not work in a real life fight. And a few months back, I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Like, I'm like, what are you talking about? Now, obviously, I wasn't dumb. Like, I know when a character jumps high, I mean, when a person in a movie jumps high as fuck and maybe does like the fucking... Maybe does a fucking Liu Kang bicycle kick. I knew I knew that's not realistic. You, you can't jump in the air and stay in the air for like five seconds straight doing kicks. I, like, I know that's not realistic, but I thought that like all that Kung Fu shit, I thought that that shit was like realistic and like you and you could do that in a real fight. But you can't do that shit in a real fight. You can't do all that 1970 Kung Fu shit in, you know, in a real life battle. It's not going to work. Yes, it looks fancy. Yes, it looks more dope. Yes, it's not as flashy. I, I mean, uh, well, no. I mean, yes, it, it's flashy. It looks more cool. But that's not going to work in a real life fight. What's going to work in a, what's going to work in a real life fight is what you see when you watch MMA. That's what's going to actually fucking work. You know, ground ground and pounds, takedowns, fucking um, different th forms of striking, j uh, judo, jujitsu, boxing. That's that's going to work. Yes, these things aren't as flashy as like movie shit, but that's more effective. You know, y'all ass, nigga, y'all ass better not go to a motherfucking fight. Trying to be Jet Li in the fucking Forbidden Kingdom. You're going to get your ass kicked. <laughs> That's crazy. Because I, I, I just think that shit was real. Even when you see these videos of these like, of these like, wushu motherfuckers. And they're doing like all of this like, Shaolin Monk, uh, Chi bullshit. Where they be doing shit like this. They be on shit. They be like some. I mean, that ain't, that ain't gonna do, yeah, it look good, it look good, but that ain't gonna do shit in a fight, you Shaolin monk ass motherfucker, they deceived me, they deceived me with that Shaolin bullshit, I thought that if you could do that shit, all that, um, all that, all that bullshit, 
I thought that I thought that was like some real life martial arts shit. That stuff's not gonna work in a fight, man. Yeah, it looks good, but it's not gonna fucking work. You feel me? So when you watch a movie, man, and you see these actors doing all this crazy shit, that's not gonna work in a real fight. It looks good in the movie, but it's not gonna fucking work. And he said, Dragon Ball for Life, he said that there's only a few effective martial arts styles. Because there's plenty of martial arts styles. You got the crane, you got the dragon, you got the monkey, monkey, monkey kung fu, monkey kung fu. You got the fucking tiger, kung fu, all this shit. But all of these things are not that effective. If you watch MMA, fighters typically have have one of these styles. They have judo, jiu-jitsu, boxing, wrestling, kickboxing, uh, Muay Thai. I think it's called Santo or some shit like that. They all use that shit. And they just switch it up in the fight. So they... They may have like seven styles or, 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 or maybe four styles, and then, and then they just switch that shit up in the fight. You know? All that other shit ain't gonna fucking work, man. And maybe there are some things, and maybe th there could be like one or two moves that, that you can use from these other things that don't work, that could work, but, um, you know, but that's all that it is. Just one or two moves, maybe, maybe that could work, but that's about it. It's all just movie shit. It's not going to work in real life, man. So, yeah. Understand that shit. That's just a surprise because I thought that stuff could actually work in real life. I mean, obviously I wasn't stupid. Like, I know some of those moves are you can't do it. But I didn't know that that shit's fake as fuck. Like, some, some of the best movie fighters will get their ass beat in a real fight. So, I'm trying to name some names. Like, um... I don't know, there's any action movie where, like, the main character's kicking everybody's ass. Man, it's, that's, you can't do that shit. <laughs> Most, in a fight, dude, like, like, in a fight, depending on the skill level of a person, I can maybe take one person, max, and maybe two, if both of them aren't that good of a fighter, you know what I'm saying? But in but in real life, you can't fight. Shit, I believe what's his name? Uh, his name is uh, Alistair Overeem. I believe he fought seven bouncers at a club before. He beat all their ass. I'm like, oh shit! But he's a professional fighter, so maybe if you're a professional, you can you can maybe fight you know more people than an average motherfucker. But you can't fight like in a movie, 10, 15, 20 niggas at the same time. So that movie's just not realistic, man. Even if the niggas can't fight, even if you're a pro, you can't fight 20 niggas at the same time. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. That's all I got to say. I'm out.